This is a video on knurling, uh, specifically how to knurl the brass nut that we're making, but it works for any knurling process. This is how to do it. The first thing that you need to be able to do is you need to put your stop in, of course, get it nice and tight. And then you need to be able to set up your knurling. Right? This here is the knurling tool. Before you put it in, you need to make sure that both the bottom and the top wheel spin so that they're able to turn and that these are nice and tight, it's not going to move. From there, you can set it into the tool post and lock it in. Because there is an adjustable head on it and it's able to move up and down for the height, it needs to be approximately the right height, but it doesn't need to be amazingly perfect. What it does need to do is it needs to be perpendicular to the work. At the moment, you can see that actually it's heading in at an angle to your work and it needs to be perpendicular to that. So what we're going to do first Okay, from here it's a relatively simple process. We're just going to turn it on and then we're going to push the wheels in until both the top and then the bottom wheels are connecting and rolling around on our stock and then we're going to move it along the shaft of our stock. So to start that turn process, turn it on. We're going to push it into the work. You can see the top wheel spinning and you can see the bottom wheel spinning there. Once both wheels are spinning you need a reasonable amount of pressure. So keep tightening it a bit tighter and then you're going to slowly move it along. Move it off and then turn it off. <clears throat> okay. So that's our completed section. You can see the knurling going all the way along the edge there, and it's going to be a nice grip for our brass nuts when they're finished. That's knurling.